Nothing here. Keep looking. Give it to me. Spanish? Portuguese? Fifty fifty?
That must be him. Mm. Certainly has a limp. You say it was a lion. It's 9 a.m. and he's heading for the pub. Probably broke his leg tripping while intoxicated. Now, now, Lady Anna. He has a sterling reputation. A reputation for what? I've got a plan. Take this to the car. <sighs> I'll have one as well. Oh, no, Mr. Quartermain. Allow me. Let's have him. And for you, ma'am? I'll have a whiskey on the rocks. Thank you. To the Queen. <clears throat> um, to a cold beer and fast women. Mr. Quartermain, a year ago at this time, I believe you were at a place called Bumumguatu, just north of the Transvaal. You were trading there. Did you happen to meet a man called Neville? He's lost. Sorry about your friend. Thanks for the bear. Sir, do you have no manners? No. Mr. Quartermain. Mr. Quartermain. Mr. Quartermain, please. Listen, he wrote me. He mentioned that after you sold him some oxen, you took him to the outskirts of Bumumguatu. That was my final correspondence with him. It's been 16 weeks since I heard from him. Well, Alan, aren't you going to help him? He's lost his pen, pal. Well, I don't know him. Really, I fancied you did. Sorry. Sir Henry Curtis. I, I really don't care. Alan. Mr. Quartermain, but... You certainly charmed the socks off of him, didn't you, Sir Henry? There are many ways to win a battle. seem to have had second thoughts, Mr. Quartermain. Let's just do this. Politics is a dangerous game. Let's leave politics out of it. You seem to have the South African National Party confused with the Nazi Party. I'm not confused. The map? The money. Ten thousand. What's this? This is half a map. Where's the rest? This is the only map, Ainsley. It'll get you far enough. But not to the treasure. This is not the deal. The lion I killed this morning weighed considerably more than you. Run! <laughs> I'm 
so hot. Is there any water? Lady, there's water there on the puppies. I think I'm dehydrated. I can't bear this African sun. My money. My man. That's the map Neville was talking about, to King Solomon's treasure. That's Neville's map? Not exactly. In that quarter main knows where Neville is. Lady Anna, keep still. Lady Anna! Quartermain, you're a liar and a thief. <laughs> Sorry for the interruption. Get back. Just just stay back. All right? I'll shoot. Can't do it. All right, see? Yeah. So we're just gonna, gonna walk out, right? Shoot at Hartford. Don't miss. Get behind the wagon. Run. I'll cover you. Run. Get behind the wagon. Hold on. Hold on, Mr. Quartermain. Look, I've been reading about your exploits for some time, and believe me, you've gathered some acclaim. But no matter what transpired here today, we're your friends. Poor oh, friend. I've got a train to catch. You have to go after him. Yeah. Well, what about you, Hens? Hey, don't worry about me. I'll improvise. Go on, come on. In God keep blue to us. Have a ticket to where the gentleman went, please. Thanks.
Is this seat taken? Yes, it is. I don't see anyone. Who was sitting here? Anyone but you. I think we got off on the wrong foot. You're a businessman. You came to this town to do business. So Henry and I have a proposition. This is a two-hour train ride. Are you going to shut up, or do I need to send you to the other car? Childish, wasn't it? What do you want from me? Lily, you need the money. Why won't you go on this trip with us? This has got nothing to do with money. You're totally out of your depth here. I will decide if I'm out of my depth. On expeditions like this, people don't survive. Are you prepared for that? Good day, gentlemen. Stay back.
don't know whether to thank you or slap you. <sighs> Why don't you decide later? Need a lift? Sir Henry, you never cease to amaze me. Hop in. Settled. Wait here. I've organized the carriage. Can I see it? I was right, wasn't I? This is the map. This is the map to King Solomon's treasure. No. No. There exists no map to King Solomon's treasure. Then it's a forgery, and you were selling... No. This map was indeed penned by Jose Sebastian. But... The treasure doesn't exist. It's a fantasy, a myth. Many good men have died in pursuit of storybook riches. And my brother, who went searching for the... It is a fool. Is he? Is he a fool, Mr. Quartermain? It was sent in the last parcel for my brother. You're a hunter and an expert tracker. We need your services and I will pay you handsomely. This isn't about your brother, is it? <laughs> Take the treasure. If we find it, it's yours, the whole lot, if that's what we need to secure your involvement. But for the map and myself, it'll be 30,000. <laughs> but you agreed to sell it to that Hartford character for 10,000. Well, then let's make it 40,000. 20,000 up front today. Done. Um, just to make clear, if there's anything to make this journey more suitable, uh, planes or, or artillery, consider it done. Henry has unlimited funds at hand. Where are we going? Money has no value. Freshen up, pack light, we leave in an hour. Aren't we having porters? Mbopa, some tea. Um, 
Wopa. Please forward this to my son. I'll be back in five weeks' time. In the event that I don't return, I want you to forward this to him as well. Mr. Quantum, maybe you are talking nonsense. You will be able to send it yourself when you come back. In the event that I do not return. Feminine, don't you think? <laughs> he had a wife once. What happened? Died a few years back. Some sort of fever, I think. Anna, have some restraint. This must be his wife. And his son. Sad. <clears throat> Would you like something to drink? Sir Henry. I'm fine. Thank you. Mrs. Harrisford? Lady Harrisford. No thanks. Thank you. Put it back. Right, I'll, uh... Check on the luggage, shall I? Now remember, if you don't hear from me in five weeks' time, I want you to leave this place. Take whatever you desire go back to your homeland. No, I prefer to go with you. No. You are following the map. I need to go there. No good will come from following this map. I will be of great help to you, Mr. Quatermain. Please, let me come. I know that you could. Don't forget to post the letter. Bopa, is it? How long have you worked for Mr. Quartermain? Seven years. And before that? I've worked many places. I can't quite place your accent. Is it is it Zulu? No. Corsa? No. Swazi? No. Zagani, perhaps? No. Where exactly are you from? from many places.
Get out. We have to go now. I can't. Get out. Throw me a towel or something. Take a bath. Well, I didn't know there's going to be people shooting, did I? Go ten seconds, and then we're leaving. <sighs> well, throw me a robe or something. One. Hartford's men. There'll be more coming. Come on. You know, the queer thing about it. Soren, is that he was from North Africa? How do you suppose uh, treasure came all the way down here, so far away from Jerusalem? Solomon was the second son of King David. The first son, Adonia, was passed over. When Solomon was crowned king, Adonia led a revolt in fear. He would uh, take over. Solomon hid the treasure and promised to return it if Adonia did prove himself a worthy man. Mr. Quartermain, how is, it that, how is it that you've obtained the map, then? My wife and I bought it on our honeymoon ten years ago. Marie was French. She was spent many years in Egypt. She knew the story well. Hmm. She was hoping to find King Solomon's treasure with Mr. Quartermain. I heard her tell the story to me. This is Ainsley Hartford. He's a despicable man, a man who would sell South Africa to the highest bidder. Yes, he's an ivory dealer dealing in black market animals. Rhino horns, elephant tusks, gorilla feet. I guess you run into all sorts of various characters in the jungle. I suppose. Do you always approach your expeditions with such a disgusting amount of cynicism? Yes. What is a cynic? A man who knows the price of everything and the value of nothing. Do you know who said that? Oscar Wilde. Do you like the classics, Mr. Quatermain? I love them. Emerson, Thoreau. 
I'm quite the reader myself. on the trail with my map. Funny, why don't we call that transaction being completed? Your memory is an odd thing. Let us pass. Set that boy out of my face, Alan. This is between us men. I am Sir Henry Curtis. That is the second and last time I will introduce myself. I am the founder of this expedition, and I suggest you let us pass. I'm sorry, I'm so sorry. I'm sorry, let's stop all of this violence. I mean, none of you are going to come out of this alive. Isn't that so, Quatermain? Soon you'll be crossing into territory where you and your little party will be overwhelmed. Swallowed by forces you can't even imagine. And Quatermain knows this. That's why he sent your fee to his son in London. Is that true, Quatermain? Now, this is a small country, and I have eyes everywhere. <sighs> now, what I propose is this. I'll give you proper protection. You can't make it alone, not without support. I'll get rid of the henchmen. And I'll join you and your party, and at the end we can share the spoils. And that's my best offer. I'm not giving you the map. Then you'll all die. Death comes to us all. It's up to us to decide how we meet it. Seems it's coming nearer than you think.
We have to get this off. Where is it at? Uh, right there. It's really swollen. I can hardly move it. It's not broken. I twisted it. How much further? Three days. Here, take this. It will make you feel better. It's medicine. It'll help ease the pain. Come on. I feel much better. Come on. Let's go. She was breasts. This is as far as Neville's map goes. The rest of the map goes between them. Let's hurry up. We want to get there before night falls. I can't imagine Neville making it this far. You must keep your spirits high, Anna. Neville would never have given up. Come on. Come on.
Let's set up camp here for the night. We need to collect firewood. Quatermain, tell me, why did you accept this assignment? You must have some hope that there's treasure. You got that wrong. Then why are you here? Pay's good. I can't survive on air alone. Besides, I need to support my son. Ah, yes. Your son. Such the devoted father spending so much time with the lad. Come with me. You've had it in for me from day one. What have I ever done to you? Nothing. What's wrong with you? I don't get you. Why do you have to get me? You're mean, irascible, arrogant. Well, you're quite a bundle of joy yourself. I just want to find my brother. It's the first honest thing you've said since we've been out here. Keep it up. You really don't think the map is going to lead us anywhere, do you? It leads us to your brother. That's odd. He's already collected firewood here. Anna! Henry, no! Ningi, Lungu!
Unana and the Am Kuku Tinga Lungu Makos was a sang of Muslim Pulela Nam Lunga Lunga Nam. We are alone. We are not 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 Hi, Inati, Iguliti. Alan, Alan. Sir Henry. What deal have you made with them, Hartford? The only deal they could afford. The South African National Party has disbanded all tribes in South Africa. I simply made a deal to leave them alone in exchange. For the treasure. M. Kosi, 
Mina Zentata, Lady Anna. Buena Zentata Zonk. Oh, cool. Lady Anna. Food here is terrible. <laughs> what happened to the rest of your party? Split up into different parts of the camp. Some of them died trying to escape. The others. I take them at night. <laughs> I guess I was the lucky one. Treasure. I went as far as I could. I... It doesn't matter. None of that matters. And Hannah? How is she? Una malena ngalento mbazana. What's he saying? He wants to buy you. Unani, une ngoma zo 16. 16 what? 16 cows, Lady Anna. That's ridiculous. Yega. Ne une ngoma zo 24. You can't buy me. He's a crook. He doesn't owe me. He's trying to. Ah! Yega. Me funi ngomezo fifty. Yega. Hmm. 
lunghi, gran lunghi. Contracti signi.
on the right track. That's Ashtoreth, the goddess of the Zidonians. Chemosh, the god of the Moabites. And Mulcom, the god of the children of the Ammon. Then that's the entrance to the cave. Hartford's taken Lady Anna then. It's not far now. Watch your backs. this way.
Sharp Quatermain. I claim this treasure on behalf of the National Party. I don't care about the treasure. Just give me the girl. Oh, I don't think you're in a position to negotiate, do you, Alan? Back off. Give me the girl. That's all I want. Well, you can't always have what you want.